hey guys welcome back to my channel so we have a little review today i did order the new patrick ta holiday palette for 2023 usually every year he does a big blush palette his blushes are like one of my favorite products from his line but this year we have something a little different it's kind of like an eye and face palette so let's dig in we got the barbie pink packaging of course i feel like everything is all about the pink right now and it's called major holiday face palette so let's go ahead and open this up it does say it is limited edition so probably only available for this holiday season it does have the metallic pink barbie packaging as well and let's open it up all right so here's the inside and my shade came out that is wonderful okay so video not off to a great start i did just call sephora real quick to see if they can send a replacement which they will but i probably won't get here till thursday so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and make the video with this palette i have already one coming out this is a disaster anyways <laughs> i'm still gonna show you guys the palette even though the shade I crumbled up and I'm still gonna try it on the eyes for you and I'll still swatch it for you. It's just in pieces right now. So I didn't wanna put it back in the palette and make a big mess, but yeah, <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes. You know, sometimes stuff comes broken, but luckily they said they'll send another one free of charge. So let's get into the palette. So this is gonna retail for $65 and it does say it comes with two new pink blush shades, which I definitely wanna swatch the blushes against the other pinks that I have from Patrick Ta, but yeah, it says they're new shades. He does have two other pink blushes in his collection already and then a eyeshadow little quad, which are supposed to be little glittery toppers now I love a good kind of one and done sparkly shadow just thrown on the lid and I'm out for the day but these will also be pretty paired with different matte eyeshadows too so I'm gonna swatch them all on the eyes for you and on the hands too so let's get into the swatches first we have this gold glitter topper this one is feeling selfish and this one almost has like a duochrome to it it's like gold but it shifts pink that's how it looks on the hand. And let's swatch it on the eye as well. This is like fully opaque to me. Let me zoom you guys in so you can get a better look. But yeah, it actually, this is probably the most pigmented one that's in the palette. And it's a really beautiful color. I would totally wear this on its own. And it has that fun, just like copper to pinky shift to it it's very pretty okay next shade is the one that broke this is a very pretty pinky color and it's called it's my face this is such a pretty color as well it's a really nice metallic pink has a little glitter in there but not chunky glitter at all and it's just a little golden too like a golden champagne so let me spread this on this eye I feel like that's a really pretty shade as well that you could totally wear on its own. It is nice and opaque and it has that really pretty glitter to it. But yeah, you could totally pair this if you guys have his mattes palette. You know, that one's like an all matte palette. So it's kind of smart that he came out with this one too. So you can kind of pair them together. I haven't picked it up yet, but I'm thinking about getting it for the Sephora VIB sale. Okay, next little glitter topper here, we have Mind Your Business. This one is like ultra glittery. I feel like it's a little bit more sheer than the other two since it is lighter in tone, but look at that sparkle. It's very beautiful, kind of like a champagne-y pearl. Let's apply it on the eyes as well. Oh wow, that is such a gorgeous shade. Yeah, I really love that for that wet look. Mm. Even like popping that just in the center of the eye, doing a halo eye with some mattes around, that'd be so stinking pretty. Now the last eyeshadow, we have this more pearly one called In the Spotlight. This one is very icy. Here is it swatched, and now you can see all the four toppers together. And on the eye. Oh my gosh, that it's actually very pigmented. So that is how all the shades look swatched and swatched on the eyes. Let's try the blushes. So for the blushes, it does come with the cream side and the powder side. He usually suggests doing the powder first and then the cream on top. So let's go into the lighter pink. This is called Giving I Need Her. So that is just the powder swatched. 
And then here's how it looks with the cream applied on top. It just gives more of that dewy finish. But that is like very Barbie pink. Next, we have Giving Main Character, which is the darker pink blush. Oh my gosh, this is so bright. That is just the blush by itself, the powder side. And with the cream on top. And so that is all the shades in the Major Holiday Face Palette. So I want to go ahead and do a little bit of an eyeshadow look, a full look, not just the topper. So I'm diving into Patrick's first Major Dimension Palette just to have like a little a bit of a base to work with. And I'm going to use just a matte medium brown in the crease. Of course, you don't have to use this. You can use any matte brown that you guys have. But I just wanted to pull like a whole look together if you would rather have a whole look and didn't want to just use them as a single shade all over. And then adding a dark brown in the outer corner. I'm always a huge fan of Patrick's palettes. His mattes are so good. That's why I kind of want to get the all matte one, but I also kind of feel like I have the shades in his other major dimension palette. So that's what's been holding me back, but I feel like maybe with the 20%, maybe I would try it out. I'm just adding some excess on my lower lash line here. So just very quick, easy to get a base going. Now, if you're wondering how this shade right here compares to the one that's in the major dimension one, let's try them out right next to each other. So from Major Dimension 1, I'm taking Abundance. It definitely doesn't feel as smooth, but it's still that really metallic formula. And then this is Mind Your Business. This one's a little tiny bit more rosy, but honestly, they are pretty similar. So in the new palette, it just leans a little bit more pinky, but it does give that same effect. So if you do like kind of some of the topper glitter metallic shades that are in the other Patrick top palettes, you'll probably really like these too. Let's actually take that shade all over the lid because I think it's a gorgeous shade. And I'm just going to use my finger and blend this on. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how you could use these as well with some of your other maybe more matte palettes to create a full glam look too. But I feel like they're gorgeous on their own as well. Okay, before we try the blush, let me do one more swatch because I want to compare the first shade in the palette and see if there's anything similar that's in the Major Dimension 2. This one's more that like rosy gold version that he did, but I don't know. This one might be a little more golden. Um, so we'll swatch that next to a door here in the Major Dimension 2. I want to see how similar those are. Okay, a door is definitely darker more gold let's see this color in the middle this is lust this one might be more similar hmm hmm okay so i tried to put it above and i do feel like those are pretty darn close so i feel like there's a couple very similar shades going on in the palettes all right let's try the blushes on so when i was watching patrick's instagram he um, actually kind of did an ombre blush look. He started with the lighter and then kind of went up with the deeper tone. So we'll try that. So let's go into the light pink. And he just kind of popped this on the apples of the cheeks. But honestly, I really like this color. Because I feel like the other pink blushes he's come out with have been too dark for me. And I think this is the perfect pink by itself for more fair light skin tones. That is so pretty. Let me do the cream on top of it. Yeah, I really like that. Now I'm a little nervous for this darker pink, so we're just going to use a light hand with it. I might have to tap some even on my hand. And then we'll kind of bring this more back. But yeah, that's definitely that more intense pink. Let's add the cream. <laughs> A little crazy. Let's tone that down with my foundation brush. But yeah, definitely the first color we used, I think that was like the perfect pink, but I don't think I'll get a ton of use out of the darker one. It's just too dark for me. And also I want to mention like you can totally take 
these like matte shades too these pinks and also mix and match with these toppers as well if you want like a fun bright hot pink look too like a barbie look even though we didn't try that out but that's definitely an option so now that we've got that a little more calmed down a little more wearable for me i'm gonna go ahead and set that into the skin now i don't have the lip that he came out with because he did just launch one today in the collection I might have to pick it up later. It looks really pretty, but I did actually throw on one of his glasses in a full syringe. It's one of my favorites from his line. Let's actually dip a little bit into this kind of pearly shade and use it as a highlight. I'm just gonna lightly blend that into the upper parts of my cheekbones here. And it kind of gives you that diamond look, like the Fenty Diamond Balm effect. And I'm also going to place that in my inner corner here, too, for some extra sparkle. And I'm just, like, kind of swirling that in. Okay, so here's our full look using the palette. Very pretty. I wish my lighting was a little bit better because it's a little dark outside. But I told you I wanted to go ahead and swatch these blushes with some of the other pink Patrick Ta blushes and see how close they are. So let's take the lighter one first. And I'm just going to put the cream on top because that's how I would apply it. Even though I feel like it kind of swatches funny like that, but we'll make it work. I'm just going to tap that on. I want to see how that one compares to this here. This one is called She's a Doll. It came in the first holiday palette from Patrick Ta, the cheek palette, and he actually made it into a regular full size that you could buy on its own. So I want to see how similar those are, although this one does look a little bit more warmer. So yeah, definitely this one is a lot warmer than the new lighter shade. Okay, let me try this one as well. So this is the newest She's Giving blush. And that is like a pure hot pink, like Barbie pink. We'll put the cream on top. It kind of almost looks like purpley in a way. So that's what she's giving. And then back into the holiday face palette. Let's do the dark pink. Okay, so the blushes actually are all different shades of pink, which is crazy to me. This new one definitely has the most unique shades, I feel like, because the two middle ones actually look a lot alike, <laughs> and those are in his regular line, but this is my favorite pink blush yet from him. I'm so excited about that one, but again, I just don't think I can get much use out of this darker one unless I'm using it for eyeshadow looks. So now that we've got kind of all the swatches done, we did the look, we did some comparisons. Hopefully you guys saw everything you wanted to know about this palette. Is there some similarities? A little bit, I would think, with the eyeshadows if you already have the other two, Patrick Ta, like the first Major Dimension palettes. There is some repetitiveness between those two. Of course, the pink, the pink color, that's like an all new shade to me. And I think this like pearly one is like an all new shade as well. Um, I wish mine didn't come broken, so hopefully this review was still okay, even though I didn't really have that shadow to show you in the palette. It's not like nice looking, and I feel like it kind of made me a little bit of a mess in this video. <laughs> it's kind of a little all over the place, but you know, hopefully it was still enjoyable and helpful, but I like this. I think these are gorgeous. I would totally use these shadows as little glitter toppers on the eye. I would use them by themselves. I would pair them with different things and it does kind of want to make me pick up the Major Dimension 3 from his line as well because I think it would be gorgeous to pair together and I'm curious to see how these shadows will look with the blushes too as eyeshadows. I think I will be reaching into this palette a lot for this blush in particular because I've been looking for the perfect pink for fair skin and I feel like this is the one and honestly I might even try mixing these two to get like a happy medium as well but honestly this was the perfect pink for me so I think that kind of wraps up my thoughts here on the major holiday face palette from Patrick Ta I'm excited about this one let me know your thoughts down below are you guys picking this one up are you skipping on it is this not really your style I feel like you definitely have to like pink to like this palette and you also have to like a lot of fun like shimmery eyeshadows but I'm all about that like I was thinking about even buying that Urban Decay Moon Dust palette that was coming out soon 
costume for the holidays that has just like four of the moon dust shadows. Like I wear the moon dust all the time and these kind of give me that similar vibe but even more sparkly. So I think it's stunning. I know Sephora VIB sale is coming up. If you want to go ahead and wait to get it then you might as well save a little bit on this one because it is pricey and the Sephora VIB sale is at the end of October. But that's kind of it for this video. Uh, I was debating if I should just scrap the whole thing since my thing came broken but I'm glad I did it anyway and tried it out because it was just you know something fun. I really wanted to upload something today so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys have any other questions, any comparisons you want to know. Hopefully I covered everything and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.